was simply nothing more than a passing thought the morning after lingers for an eternity. I'm eternally somewhere in between reticence and liberty. What am I, what am I gonna do when you're not here to talk to? What am I, what am I gonna say? Okay, Kobe doing work, 2-4 on my shirt. He the greatest on the court, and I'm the greatest on the verse. Going for the fourth ring like it was his first. Gotta get the gleam, do it for Kareem. 2-4 so nice, my flow so mean. Catch me at the game, sitting next to Goldstein. Kobe Bryant, Nike, purple gold strings. Kobe in the game, don't get on the whole team. Black, Black Mamba, attack, conquer. Basketball beast, rap, rap monster, crossover good, a turnaround jumper, I just drive the lane and dunk on dunkers. You know where it's going, it's going down, yo. This is the lake show, but don't drown, though. I call him King Bryant, not let the crown show. Watch me get him like Kobe, yeah. Sick with it, no Kobe, yeah. Black clouds break open, yeah. Rain down black roses, yeah. I smell the roses, now I'm focused, yeah. The game's cold, but I'm frozen, yeah. The lanes are closed, but I'm bowling, yeah. Shoulder. Uh, I see the vultures flying over, so now we marching like we soldiers, until we walking like we strolling, yeah. Sit the poison, my last game, like that's game, yeah. Yerk. Put five reins on my last name, I skirt, could have been my first. On one leg, on my last leg, I want the last shot, that's worth. No Achilles heel, like toe feel, this the last dance, like. Hold a gold beat, and I'm a chest, and goes right tap, tap, tap. This is black entertainment, baby. This is black power status, yeah. Two fingers for the mama, see them screaming black mama matters, yeah. Hard goes out to Vanessa and the whole black mama family. Be a man, part of gold feet, now my chest, and it goes right down to tatter, yeah. This is black entertainment, baby. This is black power status, yeah. Two fingers for the mama, see them screaming black mama matters, yeah. Hard goes out to Vanessa and the whole black mama family. Be a man, yeah. Be a man. On BET, yeah. We the best, yeah. We the best. On GOD, yeah. We there, yeah. It's we there. G-O-A-T like COVID B. Rest in power and so for peace. Black Lives Matter fact. As a matter of fact. Welcome to another Groundhog Day NBA game. Shadows or not, it's time to get it going. Alongside Hall of Famers Doris Burke and Grant Hill, I'm Brian Anderson. Allie LaForce on the sidelines. And a look now at a few years' worth of data. Some of the assist numbers under the microscope for Tyrese Halliburton. And the strides he's made as a passer are easy to see. He's developed a much stronger basketball IQ in regards to sharing the ball and keeping the offense clicking. And he's a much more effective player because of it. And now Indiana's starting group. Buddy Heald is out there with Tyrese Halliburton. Then there's Miles Turner. Then it's Neesmith. And it's Siakam in a power forward. And for New York, 
Josh Hart is out there with OG Ananobi. Then it's Dante DiVincenzo. Then there's Isaiah Hartenstein. And it's Brunson in at the point guard position. Grant, the all-star break is soon approaching. How important is that break for the players? Oh, the break, it is so crucial. It is needed, no question about it. And any chance to get some rest is a big bonus. Also, of course, refocusing as a team and making a plan for the rest of the year. It'll be the Knicks off the tip. Hart passes to DiVincenzo. Incredible. I'm speechless, man. I'm speechless. Now here's Halliburton. Back to Turner. Down it goes. And a great assist by Halliburton. Halliburton's vision and then the ability to thread the needle there makes the defense pay. And here's Brunson from the arc. Hits the trifecta. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. Now here's Siakam. Who poked away. Out of bounds. Pacers ball as Indiana keeps possession. Here's Neesmith. And an OB covering. Pass to heel. Fires from deep. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. The specialty of Buddy Heald is a three-point shot. You give him an opportunity to respond, and he's going to say, yes, sir. And just over a minute played here to start the game. Here's Brunson outside. And again, New York with the triple. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at me. And you would expect nothing less from these two, taking pride and making plays. Now here's Halliburton. Looking at his stats, he's getting just over 23 points a game. Uh, he's so disciplined as a playmaker. Tyrese Halliburton sees what's happening. It's just going to take the opportunity. Brunson against Halliburton. And Jalen Brunson again. Brunson's got eight. Boy, they came ready to play. That's four straight buckets to start the game. Doors taking a glance at the Indiana Pacers. What do you like about them moving forward? I would say the fact, B.A., that they have quietly built a nice young core. Now, that, of course, is going to take time and patience, but I do believe unequivocally they're on the right path. Six on the shot clock. Heel to the ball. Hard covering. Blocked! And they get it back. That's tipped, and that one good. I didn't see that coming. He sinks a pretty dicey shot. For New York, they've gone four of four from the floor. Perfect start. Here's Brunson outside. And again, New York with the triple. Impressive, five straight makes. Love the play calling here. 13, nine. Pass to Turner. Back to Halliburton. And he jams it after taking the nice feed on the run. Uh, Tyrese Halliburton saying, I'm not just a pure shooter, folks. I've got a little ups in my game. Here's Brunson outside. Again gets it to go. He can't miss. Five for five. They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. Halliburton, the pass to Neesmith. And in the first quarter, about three minutes played. Pass to heel. Shot clock at six. Hartenstein pulls it in. New York has gone four for four so far from three-point land. Impressive. And here's Brunson from the arc. The shot won't fall. And so it's Halliburton with it. He brings it up for Indiana. Trailing by five. Outplayed in the previous game on their schedule. Losing to the Knicks. It's never easy to win games when you're missing free throws. They had to be better. You know this. Nothing gets a crowd into the game more than a bunch of missed free throws. That's one of the worst things you can do on the road. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Indiana's gone one or two from three-point land so far. Indiana calls timeout. You look at Jalen Brunson. What a contribution. 
Well, I think this is a necessary timeout so they can figure out a way to limit the impact this guy's having from three-point range. They've got to dedicate more resources to their perimeter D. things are shaping up in the east you take a look at the Knicks they're currently holding on to the third best record in the conference and of course Indiana five games back checking out the Pacers they've stayed within arm's length of the conference leaders that in itself is an accomplishment at this point in the season yeah even so though I'm sure they're not satisfied just being near the top of the standings they're going to be looking to make a major push as the season winds down To the middle. Here's Siakam. And Siakam with the slam. Yeah, I have to love the aggression right there. He's got the vertical. Might as well put it to good use. Hart goes in. A strong finish under heavy pressure from the Bees. And their offense looking like a well-oiled machine. The Pacers have got six of ten attempts to fall. Healed against DiVincenzo. Pass to Siakam. The three. Hauled in by DiVincenzo. The Knicks have gone an impressive eight of nine. He takes it in. Hart can't hit. Got to credit the defense. They found a way to stop him, and that's never an easy task. DiVincenzo against Halliburton. Outside heel. The three ball. The Knicks pull it in. Fresh off a win against the Pacers. Yeah, and that one came down to their rebound. There was a big gap between the two teams there. That was a coach's dream, to get that kind of effort and intensity on the glass and for it to pay those kinds of dividends, critical. We've seen our fair share of NBA players from the UK. Is Ananobi the most successful, you think? Well, B.A., how about this? I mean, he's the first player from the United Kingdom to win an NBA championship. Back in 2019, he was part of that Raptors uh, championship. And think about this. He has Tyrese now turned himself into that Three coveted, elite defensive player on the wing so needed in today's NBA. DiVincenzo, the pass to Hart from downtown. Rebounded by Halliburton. Indiana trailing here. Pass to Turner. And here's Siakam. He's covered by Hart. And then Siakam with the jam. You can see Turner evolving as a passer. He wants to set his teammates up. That's a pretty look. Brunson passes to Ananobi. Shoots over Neesmith. On the mark with the 15-footer. And Anobi's got his second bucket on the night. And both teams already firing on all cylinders. Yeah, this is already a high-scoring game, but we knew that was a possibility coming into this one. Now here's Halliburton. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against New York. Yeah, not to mention a couple of blocks, too. Making his presence felt at both ends of the floor. Here's Brunson. Driving in. Ooh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. That one on heel. 
boy, such a smart player. Brunson sees a defender out of position, just going to take advantage on that drive. Shoot two. That free throw good from Brunson. Well, because Jalen Brunson is such a terrific decision maker, you can tell how confident and comfortable this team is when he runs the offense. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Grant, there is some magic here in New York. One of the best home court advantages in the NBA. Well, B.A., you have to think about the history of this building. It's incredible. I mean, when the Knicks are playing even remotely well, this place is rocking. Well, he won't miss many from that spot. The defense gets lucky there. Benedict Matherin, the sixth overall pick in 2022. The Pacers' highest pick in 34 years. Incredible to think, B.A., that Indiana hadn't selected that high since 1988, and yet somehow, despite playing in a small market and without high draft selections, they were consistently in the playoffs up until the last several years. A real testament to the competitive spirit of the organization. Shooting two. That one's off. Well, Grant, we've seen some teams double up with superstar players at the same position in recent years. Sometimes it works. Yeah, and you know, and other times it doesn't work. I mean, it forces a coach to be very creative. When you have multiple players who are used to being the guy, it can be hard to keep everyone happy. He hits the second from the line. Boy, the athleticism of OG Ananobi can be eye-popping sometimes, guys. And what's happening now is he's developing on the offensive end. This guy's upside is absolutely tremendous. Stolen by Ananobi. And they're pushing it up. Here's DiVincenzo from the high post. He drills it. DiVincenzo's got his second bucket of the game. This has been just a dreadful start for them defensively. Not good at all. Siakam against Hart. Ooh, too long in the paint. And he's hit with a three-second violation. And we have to take another look at that block. Yeah, good offense comes from great defense. This lead is only getting stronger with plays like that. And a chance for a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for the Knicks. Well, they found a groove, and it's from distance. So knocking them down from the three-point land never hurts. Yeah, and what an excellent display of passing in the early stages of this game. A good deal of their points coming directly off quality passes. And so he hits the technical free throw. What we know about Tyrese Halliburton, this guy always ready to push the pace. He's got a ton of energy. He's willing to outrun and outwork other guys. McBride, he's checked in for Jalen Brunson. And the Pacers also making a change. Nimhart, he's checked in for Halliburton. Turner passes to Neesmith. Siakam outside. Fires the three. Hartenstein pulls it in. Hartenstein's got his fifth rebound in this one. Here's Hart. The rebound by Neesmith. This has not been a good period for this guy. Out of sync, not letting the game come to him. He's got to settle down and make shots. This playmaking is something to watch. Threading that pass right in there. Here's Hart. Takes it inside. Got it. Two for five now. They're not wasting any time putting their stamp on this game. What a start. And they've been doing it largely at the offensive end. If the defense does not adjust, this could be a blowout. Here's Nimhart following the bucket by the Knicks. Siakam for three. Siakam missing again. And here's New York now. 
They lead by 11. It was a victory here for the home team last time these guys met. Yeah, they barely got by this team in the last meeting. Rebounding was the big factor. Pounding it inside early and often, setting a physical tone. And the Pacers with possession here. After the basket by New York. And here's Siakam for three. Count it. His fourth bucket and eight shots. There's no hesitation in catch-and-shoot situations for Pascal Siakam. He has turned himself into a legitimate threat. Now here's DiVincenzo. 20 points for him last game against Indiana. Wow! That type of finish is just deflating. Right now, 14, that's trying to make a comeback. Ouch. That's certainly a big-time finish right there. It was one big exclamation point, or maybe even a question mark. And the Pacers shooting a solid 50% in the opening quarter. Pass to Siakam. Mark pulls it in. To the left wing. Hartenstein in the post. Turner covers. Hartenstein, no good. Nimhart, the pass to Siakam. Here's Nimhart. Back to Siakam. Turner, a screen on Hart. Pass to Turner. And then Turner with the dunk. How about that? Running the pick and roll to perfection. Evident that Miles Turner loves these situations. Now a timeout called by New York. Feel that for the fans. Here's your new breaker dance room. in for Ananobi, and it's Grimes in for DiVincenzo. Turner's gone two for three from the field. And he drives in. Oh, nice shot by Grimes. Here's McConnell. As far as his production, he's averaging about eight points per game. Doris, one big advantage for Quentin Grimes. He is strong. BA, we are talking about six foot five, 210 pounds of elite athleticism. There's power on the defensive end, and on the offensive end, this guy is a tremendous knockdown shooter. A wealth of potential with Quentin Grimes. Count it. They're playing great team basketball. It's good movement and sharp, crisp passes. Siakam outside. Remaining in the first. Two minutes. 156 left in the first quarter. Pass to Nimhart. And the layup is good off the glass. This is what we call highly efficient play. Working off the screen, getting to the cup. And here's New York now. A 12-point game. Here's Grimes. The rebound by Nimhart. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. McConnell with it. Pass to Matherin. There's a 
Screen by Toppin. Five on the clock. And he goes in for the dunk. Boy, you see the quick, twitchy athleticism of Benedict Matherin. Here's Grimes. Ooh, and they immediately answer back with a dunk on the other end. Woo! Defensively, you can't afford to let him get to the rim that easy. Well, that might be why their deficit is what it is right now. I tell you, you can't get stops if you're unwilling to put in the work. And so it's Siakam with it. He brings it up for the Indiana Pacers. Down by 12. And a slam dunk by Toppin. My goodness, Toppin puts on a show. What a special dunker this guy is. McBride passes to Hart. Here's Hartenstein. And he goes strong with the one-handed jam. And I just love how he's making the effort plays that everyone around him appreciates. It is certainly making an impact tonight. No doubt on the scoreboard, in the body language of the players, you can tell which team is in complete command. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy, it takes activity, it takes intensity. Next lead, 46, 35. This is why you want ball movement and player movement. And that's made it hard for the defense to key in on any one individual. That's, that's good. Siakam. Well, I'm telling you, this guy is doing everything he can to get them where they want to be. He's been on a mission in this period. Here's Hart, driving inside. Count it. He's four for eight now. Man, that was fast. They're already up by double digits. Wow, they've come out strong. Control the pace, assert their will. Nice. McConnell outside. Down low. Here's Siakam. That one's good. On the assist from McConnell. Siakam's got 13. Well, this is your 2019 most of the fourth player. And now Siakam trying to become that franchise-level guy, carrying the load tonight. It's been all about Jalen Brunson for New York. What a game from deep. Making five trays. Back to the game after this break. Great to have you with us. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. All right, guys, what's your take on the Knicks so far? They're off to a rock-solid start. They brought a well-thought-out plan into this one. What terrific work at the offensive end. They have built some early momentum here. Indiana trailing here. We've got Achua. And it's McBride in at the two. That's the five for New York right now. Pass to Siakam to the left side wing. There's the three. And again, it's the Pacers from deep. Boy, Pascal Siakam plays at his own pace, able to find the open man. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Well, Jalen Brunson has been a steadying presence at the point guard spot for the Knicks. Coach Thibodeau said his mind is probably his greatest asset. He's always been that way. He's mastered all the fundamentals, and the game's not too big for him. Brian? Yeah, in either sense of the word, right? All right, Allie, thank you. Good stuff. Here's Toppin, following the bucket by the Knicks. Achua with some nice D. Boy, nine times out of ten, that's going in. I'm sure he surprised himself with the miss. Brunson! So confident at the rim. Well, this guy flat out carrying the load for them offensively. He is taking and making good shots. What a terrific job. Three-pointer, Halliburton. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Just over a minute has passed here in the second quarter. Prime shot is off. Indiana has gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. And there's the lob. And it's out of bounds to Indiana. 
And this break in action gives us a chance to see which teams are getting it done from distance. It's the real stats, real scores from the real NBA. Indiana, fourth. Instead of just bombing away, they work hard to create good looks from beyond the arc. Halliburton, the pass to Siakam. Blocked! We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter. Here's McBride. And he drops it in from the low post. McBride's got his first points of the game. The Pacers have gotten only one of four shots to go in. Pass to Matherin. Back to Halliburton. Siakam in the post. He had an 18-point outing in their last game against New York. Well, you also have to credit the way he controlled the pace of the game and was able to create for his teammates. A nice shot by Grimes. <laughs> this run has been fueled by their Matador defense. Next lead, 56, 42. Now here's Siakam. Will it go? Outside Matherin. Six to shoot, inside. Toppin's shot is off. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. Outside Brunson. Launches it. Siakam pulls down the board. After scoring with ease in the first quarter, he's really cooled down a bunch here. There's the foul. It'll go on Precious Achua. That's his first foul. Time called here. Indiana decides to talk it over. And some are saying, with the rise of the three ball, everyone is playing the same. You feel there are enough different styles, Doris? You know what, B.A., I know how much emphasis is placed on spreading the floor in the three-point shot, but here's what I believe ultimately. This game is as fun or perhaps more fun than it's ever been for me personally, and it has everything to do with the skill of the players. The shooting, the best it's ever been. The skill level, the highest it's ever been. So I love the game in its current standing. Vincenzo comes in for McBride. Jackson, he's checked in for Indiana. McConnell comes in for Nimhart. And here in the second quarter, about three minutes played. Halliburton for three. Oh, yes, sir. Halliburton from deep. Three this points. defense just can't stay connected to shooters. So it's the Knicks now. They've only given up six here in this quarter. And here's Brunson from the arc. The Pacers pull it in. McConnell passes to Matherin. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. McConnell from outside. That's good. And Halliburton gets the assist. Halliburton's got three assists in the game. Brunson taking his time here. 
Who not wasting any time and taking the shot and hitting it. Brunson's got six here in the quarter. And credit his teammates for feeding him all quarter. Halliburton, the pass to Matherin. Oh, he missed it. Making him one for two now. New York has gotten five of their nine attempts from deep to go. Let's go with a three. Brunson misses. And here's Jackson. He'll bring it up for Indiana. It's a 10-point game. Back to McConnell. Hey, expanding his range. And again, it's the Pacers from deep. Here's Brunson. He had 40 points in the win against Indiana. I love that he sacrificed his body over and over. His persistence of getting to the free throw line really paid off for them. Here's McConnell. And there's the rejection. OG Ananobi is fast off his feet. Seven foot two wingspan. He says twice on the pipes. Turner, he's checked in for Indiana. Heald comes in for McConnell. On defense, the Knicks. They've led by as many as 14. There's a screen by Turner. Pass to Toppin. Puts up a three. The Knicks pull it in. And that's exactly how tightly you have to guard him every time he steps to the arc. He's just that good. Brunson with it. Picked up by Mallory. And that one's good for Brunson. Brunson's got 27 points. Soft defense. I mean, they've given up 10 of the last 12 points inside. Halliburton, the pass to Turner. Yep, that one's good. Miles, Miles Turner. Turner has great versatility, so he can score from anywhere, but right there is his bread and butter. Halliburton against Brunson. Oh, look at Jalen Brunson. Don't let that size fool you. I'll tell you, this lead's not going anywhere with this guy making plays. What a quarter. To the paint. Here's Turner, and the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Turner. Time called here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. Right now, the loudest section is getting teachers. Get on your feet. in. Siako, he's checked in for Indiana. Neesmith comes in for Matherin. And here are the Knicks now. They've got a nine-point lead. Here's Brunson and Turner with the block. I tell you, you love the attitude of Miles Turner. No one is getting off these shots when he's nearby. No one. Tyrese Halliburton. 
Throw good, Halliburton. Indiana's gone four of six from outside. Looking sharp here in the second. Pass to Turner. Now Siakam. Halliburton with the ball. Back to Siakam. Down it goes, and a great assist by Halliburton. Halliburton's got six assists now in the game. And so it's Hart with it. He brings it up for the Knicks. Here's Brunson. And there's the foul. He'll go on Precious Achua. That's foul number two for him. Their success for mid-range has really set them apart today. Indiana trailing here. Pass to Turner. Now Halliburton. Shot from 12. Tyrese playing big in the painted area. Wherever he's gone, the shot has followed. Halliburton perfecting his craft in the mid-range. Brunson against Halliburton. And that one's good for Brunson. What an aggressive mindset in this period. He's starting to take over. The Pacers have gotten 7 of 16 shots to go in the second. And stolen by Brunson. From deep. And Brunson running the floor. Well, you love his effort level, right? Particularly when it's winning time. He is going for the finish. 69. Halliburton for three. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Hart's got four rebounds now. And they're plus five on the boys after that rebound. Left side Brunson. Over Siakam. And Brunson with the bucket. On the assist by DiVincenzo. Brunson's got 38 points. The Pacers shooting just around 41% in the second. Here's Halliburton. Oh, he drains it. His sixth make in nine tries so far. He's shooting well, doing his best to keep this offense in gear, but he hasn't had a lot of support. Here's Hart with the drive. The rebound by Turner. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. Right, he stays connected and great timing on the contest. And then Siakam with the jam. Now, B.A., you know they would love for him to get more of those opportunities. Well, that would cut into the deficit quickly if he does. And it'll be on the wing. Pass to Turner. Now healed. Shoots over DiVincenzo. Another one falls for Indiana. Good possession there. Exactly the way they drew it up. And for Buddy Heald, he became the second fastest player in NBA history to hit 1,500 three-pointers, George. And consider, B.A., only Stephen Curry did it faster. Heald is one of the top three-point shooters in the league. He's got both the volume and the efficiency to prove it. And so it's Indiana with it. The Knicks making their last shot. Pass to Turner. Achua with a rebound. Achua's got four rebounds now. Healed against DiVincenzo. Driving to the basket. And after putting it down, he dangles from the rim a little. Man, that's borderline taunting right there, Grant. They're playing with a certain swagger right now. Outside heel. It's blocked. And you have to think that they're leading this game because of how they've controlled the boards tonight. Here's Ananobi. He's got it. Four for four now. He's automatic. 
setting each other up beautifully. I love it. Eight of their last ten points coming off assist. There's Neesmith with the three. The Knicks with the rebound. Achua's got six rebounds now in the game. Hart finds Ananobi. Our 2K leaderboard highlighting the NBA's assist leaders over the last month. Number one, the Pacers. And over this last stretch, this team has been incredible passing the rock, playing great team basketball. Shoot two. Free throws good from Ananobi. Hartenstein, he's checked in for New York. McConnell, he's checked in for Indiana. Free throws good from Ananobi. And here's McConnell. Six points for him. Pass to Neesmith. Siakam with it. He's covered by Hart. Siakam against Hart. Siakam, the pass to Heald. Shot clock at five. Turner, a screen on Ananobi. Heald for three. The Knicks pull it in. Hardenstein's got rebound number seven tonight. I'll tell you, this guy is doing absolutely everything he can to get himself going, but the team is struggling because he's struggling. Indiana's gotten only four of nine from beyond the arc here in the second. McConnell finds heel to end the run. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Buddy Heald, so active on the offensive end, finds the defense in a compromised position and gets what he's looking for. That's good from Heald. We will look back on Buddy Heald's career and marvel at the consistent three-point shooting he provided no matter what team he played for. And so he's able to get one of two. New York has gotten six of 11 threes to go in this game. Here's DiVincenzo. Yes, it's good. DiVincenzo's got four points now in the quarter. And four feet of the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. Pass to Neesmith. Back to McConnell. And here's Siakam. One fourteen left to play in the second quarter. McConnell against Brunson. Heels for three. Oh, my. Came close to a four-point play. He'll head to the line for three free throws. This guy is so good at baiting defenders into the contact. Buddy Heald doing work offensively. First free throw is good. And give them credit for making a more concerted effort to get to the line this quarter. And he's good on the second. Showing more aggression here in the second quarter. He's seeking contact and working himself to the line. Oh, 
the last one's off. They'll settle for two. New York has gone one of four from three-point land here in the second. Time now to hear from our reporter, Allie LaForce. Listen, Indiana is not a free agent hotspot, but you asked Tyrese Halliburton. It's a great place to play. He said, quote, Midwest nice is a real thing. The genuineness of the people, the way they act. I really value people waving as you walk by or smiling. That matters to me. That small town feel, that Midwest feel. Brian? Yeah, he seems right at home, Allie. Thank you. Here's Turner. After the basket by New York. Pass to Siakam. On target from range. Siakam. Siakam's got seven now in this quarter. This is a guy with size and range. You cannot let Pascal Siakam get those kinds of looks from deep. Brunson misses. The Pacers shooting 52% from the floor so far. Ananobi against McConnell. Got a piece of it. And it's out of bounds to Indiana. The Pacers making a switch here. Matherin's checked in. Substitution number double zero. Benedict Matherin. Twenty-four seconds left in the first half of this game. Here's Neesmith. Going inside, lays it up and banks it in. Neesmith's got his second bucket on the night. Well, that possession to me highlights the importance of creating for your teammates. Here's DiVincenzo, and it's flushed down. A nice jam. Just magnificent. I mean, he punishes the D for a lackluster effort. They look a little disorganized there. But the result is an emphatic jam. Yeah, sometimes aggression can overcome certain offensive limitations. You saw it right there. And so it's the New York Knicks of 15 points as this quarter concludes. They're getting quality looks, and that's why they're shooting at such a high clip. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Thanks so much. I'm here with Coach Tom Thibodeau. And, Tom, what's it going to take down the stretch to win this ballgame? I think just tough defense, take good shots, not turn the ball over, play smart. Back to the basics. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Allie. After the break, we'll see you right back here to begin quarter number three. Welcome, everybody. This game revealing a big disparity in play. What a performance so far for the New York Knicks. They put on a clinic offensively. Great ball movement, player movement. Guys are shooting it well. Everything's in sync. Which is why they are up big. 
All right, and now let's talk about that point guard duel we've seen so far in the first half. These two are showing how good they can be. It's not easy to carry a team, but they're doing it. Now the trick is, can both guys carry their teams for a full game? But for what I've seen so far, they might have to. Thanks for joining us. Time to head back over to the third quarter with Brian Anderson. See if things play out a little more evenly in the second. You look at Jalen Brunson. What a contribution. Well, if he's hit threes like he did in the first half, he's going to have a monster night. What I love is they've continued to feed this guy. Ride the hot hand until the defense does something about it. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. And the Pacers looking at who they've got. Neesmith out there with Pascal Siakam. Then it's Halliburton. Then it's Buddy Heald. And it's Turner in at the five, roaming the paint. Now here's Brunson. Got it. Brunson's got 42 in the game. They have no answer defensively inside. And so it's Halliburton with it. He brings it up for the Indiana Pacers. Trailing by 17. The quick look, no good that time. And for him, that's a great look. Expect him to go right back to it if it's available. Uh, no doubt. Very good play call, good execution. Sometimes it just doesn't fall. Indiana shooting around 50% in the game so far. Healed from outside. That's good. And Halliburton gets the assist. Halliburton's got assist number eight now on the night. Pass to Hartenstein. Pacers with a rebound. And here on the second half of play, we're just over a minute in. Here's Siakam. It's good. Siakam. Siakam's got 22. Now this guy has made giant strides in his playmaking. Nice setup by Buddy Heald right there. Here's DiVincenzo. New York, no good that time either. All right, time now to pick it up. You're one for four, and you certainly don't want to give your opponent momentum. Fast break, New York. Hard with it, Turner covering. And Hart with a basket on the assist by Brunson. Hart's got 10. The mid-range jumper isn't the most popular shot these days, but it's working for them. Halliburton against Brunson. Halliburton, the pass to Neesmith. To the inside. Oh, Halliburton, send it home! You can see Buddy Heald is now seeing the floor at a different level. Those assist numbers growing big time. Hart goes in. Hey, how's that for an answer? Right back with the dunk. And adds a few more points to their lead, showing off some style. Wow, that was prime time stuff right there. Indiana's gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. The three is up. Halliburton misses. And right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. Here's Ananobi. And down it goes. Jam that one home. Oh. The vertical of OG Ananobi. Go ahead, sir. Finish with authority. And that was our AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Bringing you the sauce. Here's Halliburton. 18 points for him. Pass to Siakam. There's Neesmith with the three. Hartenstein pulls it in. The Knicks have gotten four of seven shots to drop in the third. Doris, when Aaron Neesmith was traded and got floor time, his game really took off. You know, B.A., in his prior stop, he was in a tough situation trying to get the seven. Now that he's getting repetitions as a consistent starter, he's shown how valuable he can be. And so it's Indiana with it. After the basket by New York, it's deflected. Ananobi passes to Brunson. And he converts the layup. Brunson's got 44. And they're really working the paint now. The Pacers have gotten just three of eight shots to go in the third quarter. Pass to Neesmith. 
Third quarter action. Just under three and a half minutes have passed. The Pacers again can't hit. And here are the Knicks. They've outscored them 10 to 2 during this run. Here's Hardenstein. Rebounded by Halliburton. Well, the Pacers shooting at 49% so far in the game. Siakam with it. Hard covering. Siakam, no good. The Knicks have gotten 6 of 10 shots to fall in this third quarter. It's Hardenstein, high post. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Hardenstein's got six points. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. Time called here. Indiana decides to talk it over. Specifically, rebounding and who has been crashing the glass over the last month. And you look at Hartenstein. His consistent effort makes him one of the top rebounders in this league. He's just been incredible on the boards over the last month of the season. He's a guy who plays with such desire. And so it's Halliburton with it. He brings it up for the Indiana Pacers. To stop the drought. Good. And that Chinese basket makes him 8 for 14 for the game. His first triple of the second half. That makes 3 for the game. Out of bounds. It'll be Indiana's ball. Pacers ball. And the fans love seeing incredible moments on defense like that block. <laughs> what a play. I mean, that'll have the offense thinking twice about taking shots in his presence. Heel to the ball. 11 points in the game. The three. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Hardenstein's got 13 rebounds in the game. Glass heating. Hart. Oh, that bucket gives him his seventh field goal in 12 tries. And you know Coach loves seeing his offense operate at this level. Great passing out there. Pass to Siakam for three. Fires in the triple. Siakam. Siakam's got Three five points, points now in the quarter. They are unconscious from outside. And so far, the defense has had no answer. Well, that's the whole point, isn't it? If you space the floor well enough, it's almost impossible for the defense to account for everyone. Here in the second half, they've just found better shots. And I think what's happening is they're getting their shots within the flow of their offense, and you can clearly see the difference. Now here's Turner. Six points for him. And then Siakam with the jam. <laughs> B.A., the one-hand dunk just looks so fluid. Yeah, absolutely. Even smooth when he's powering at home like that. Hart can't hit. And even with the miss, that's a high percentage shot for him. Pass to Turner. And the shot goes down. Miles Turner's got eight. Well, use the pick and going right to the cup. I love the aggressiveness. And it'll be on the wing. 
it's over Neesmith. And Ananobi gets it to go. He's got 15. I'll tell you, OG Ananobi showing you what could happen if he puts it all together. Doing work, OG. Pass to Turner. Here's Heald. There's Neesmith with the three. Hartenstein pulls it in. Hartenstein's got 14 rebounds tonight. Going after it. And an OB on the take. And that one is stuffed right through. Oh, give it to him at the rim, OG and an OB. That's power athleticism beautifully done. For Indiana, they've gotten seven of 16 shots to go so far in the third quarter. There's Neesmith with the three. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Here's Hartenstein. Six points for him. Here's Hart. Takes it up with both hands and rips it down. How about the time? It could be the difference between an assist and a turnover. Nice delivery. Pass to Turner. Now here's Heal. Here's Neesmith. Jacks up a three. He buries it from three. Neesmith's got his third basket on the night right there. They've been pretty lax with their perimeter defense, giving up a lot of three-pointers. Brunson passes to DiVincenzo. Here's Ananobi. Oh! And a strong finish with two hands. He's a living highlight reel. Seriously, that could end up being one of the best dunks of the year. Now here's Turner. Give him eight points now. Pass to Halliburton. Back to Turner. Down it goes. And a great assist by Halliburton. Halliburton's got assist number nine now. What an effort here tonight. New York has gotten six of 11 threes to go in this game. Here's DiVincenzo. Hook it. He's now 9 for 11 after that one. Attacking the heart of this defense. That's eight straight points inside. Now a timeout called by Indiana. Timeout, Indiana. T-shirts are incoming, fans. Make some noise, and they'll send one your way. Also with a sub, Matherin's checked in for Neesmith. Show him some love. And Halliburton has got the ball here for Indiana. Pass to Matherin. Now healed. Knocked loose. Right wing. Here's McBride. Rebounded by Halliburton. Halliburton's got his fourth rebound in this one. Matherin with a ball. The three is up. Nails it from three. Matherin's got five now. Well, Matherin, that time from the corner, you've got to be able to bury that consistently. Outside Hart. The 
shot comes out. Ooh, excellent D there from Turner. DiVincenzo against heel. Here's Siakam. And Siakam with the slam. Well, not exactly one of those big, burly power forwards, right? He depends on his leaping ability more than those guys, and it serves him just fine. Shots good by Hart. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, you'll be the first guy to make them pay. And that's typical of this guy. He's always reading the situation, reacting quickly, and capitalizing. Here's Matherin. Following the bucket by the Knicks, kicks it out to Siakam. Down it goes, and a great assist by Halliburton. Three points. Siakam's timeout, got timeout. 12 points in just the second half. Timeout. Now a timeout called by New York. Changes here for the Pacers. Toppin, he's checked in for Turner. Nimhart comes in for Heald. And it's McConnell in for Tyrese Halliburton. New York has gotten six of 11 threes to go in this game. And out of bounds, the Pacers will take it. And here's the upcoming schedule for the New York Knicks. On Saturday, they'll be matching up with LeBron James and the Los Angeles Lakers. And then on Tuesday, they'll be matching up with Victor Oladipo and the Memphis Grizzlies. And looking at that Mavericks matchup, that's a game where you'd be surprised to see them lose. They'd have to have a really off night for them to get upset there. And the slam dunk by Toppin. Boy, the explosiveness of Obi Toppin can really shock the defense. This guy gets excellent airspace. You know, talking to people around the league, Doris, there's an it factor with Benedict Mavericks. You know, B.A., he is definitely willing to try to put an offense on his back. He has proven not to be afraid in the closing moments of the game. This guy wants the ball anywhere, anytime. And sometimes that in and itself will carve a spot for you in this league. That one drops for him. Toppin's got four this quarter. They're really looking to that inside game here in the second half. Getting away from taking a bunch of threes. DiVincenzo on the wing. Shoots from 12. And he connects with a jumper. DiVincenzo's got 20. Their defense just falls apart once the ball goes inside. McConnell outside. Pass to Siakam. This one for three. And again, it's Indiana with a three. Not the best three-point shooter in the league, but he's got enough skill that you can't just let him fire it up. Here's Hart. Banked it in off the glass. Hart's got 16 points here in the second half. Man, that's now 10 straight points in the paint. I'm not sure what's happened to their defense. McConnell outside. Pass to Siakam. One ten left to play in the third. 
clock at six. There's a screen by Toppin. Indiana needs to get a shot off. Off target from three-point range. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. Shots good by Hart. Here's McConnell. He has six. There's 48 seconds left in the third. Pass to Siakam. And just wasn't able to set up in time. A big group substitution here for New York. Sims, he's checked in for Hartenstein. Achua comes in for Hart. Grimes, he's checked in for Ananobi. And it's Jalen Brunson in for DiVincenzo. Jalen Brunson. New York on D. 22 was their biggest lead. Outside for McConnell. Shot from the low block. Yep, that one goes. McConnell's got his third bucket of the night. What a heads-up play by Obi Top and feeds the open man. Easy opportunity. Sims. And he takes that one up and powers it through. Well, he's such a good athlete for a center. It's how he's able to succeed despite being one of the smallest fives in the NBA. Now Matherin. Five points in the game. Down low. And Siakam with the slam. Man, that is tenacity for Pascal Siakam. He was simply undeterred. And so it's Brunson with it. He brings it up for the New York Knicks. They lead by 14. Here's Achua. The rebound by Nimhard. McConnell outside. Pass to Nimhart. And here's Siakam. There's the triple. Drops in the three. Siakam. Siakam's got 37. Well, we talk about Siakam stretching to the three-point line. He knows no bounds out there. My goodness, that was long. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. Knicks out in front, up 11. And we're coming back in just a moment. Get ready for the fourth quarter when we return. Rick Carlisle had some advice for his team. Let's hear what he had to say. Hey, hey, it's all about physical. It's all about physical. Make sure we're running back. Touch somebody. Touch somebody. Pleading for his team to be more physical and aggressive. Yeah, it's something we hear often from Coach Carlisle, urging his team to play tough out there. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. They've got Jalen Brunson. And it's Sims in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. So that's who's on the floor for the Knicks. The shot by Nimhart, no good. New York has gotten six of 11 threes to go in this game. Here's McBride. Oh, there's a killer two-hand slam. That's just outstanding floor awareness from Jalen Brunson. Doesn't matter if he's at the one or the two. He always makes the right play. Knicks spot. Benton Bryant. First personal foul. First team foul. The three. Matherin knocks down the long chain. Back to back threes. Making their defense work on the perimeter a bit. And for the next, they're shooting 71%. Their offense has looked unstoppable all game long. Oh, he muscles it in through the contact. They call the foul, and he's on his way to the line. You know, that was an excellent play right there, using his strength to power through contact. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for New York. Well, how about the work they've done from the in-between area? They are making it rain, and the storm ain't over yet. They've also made a concerted effort to get the ball down low. Many of their points coming in that painted area tonight.
Indiana has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Toppin outside. Back to Halliburton. Pass to Matherin. Inside. Now Jackson. And the shot counts. He's fouled. And it's a chance for a three-point play. Second team foul. Isaiah Jackson. One shot. One shot. And that one falls for Jackson. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. Here's Sims. Oh, and Jackson with the defensive effort for Indiana. They've gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. Nimhart, the pass to Halliburton. Now here's Matherin. Good there. That would have cut it to single digits. And that one's good for Brunson. Brunson's got 46. This guy has been unstoppable. It has not mattered at all what the defense throws at him. He's had an answer. Knocks it loose. Here's McBride. Boom! He jams it straight down. Oh, excellent way to pad the lead. Yeah, especially when it's your one throwing it down like that. That's got to be a little bit deflating to the defense, guys. Getting kicked when you're down. My goodness. And here's Matherin. Toppin outside. Back to Matherin. From nine feet out. The Pacers again can't hit. The Knicks have gotten four shots out of six attempts to drop so far in the fourth. Here's McBride. Here he goes. And he jams it home with authority. Woo! When you finish like that, you deserve to brag. <laughs> Impressive. No question. How about that from your point guard, gentlemen? Playing big at the rim. Okay. Pass to Matherin. There's a screen by Toppin. Matherin passes to Toppin. And they pick up two. Oh, sizzling from the field this half, and that's after a shaky start. And so it's Brunson with it. He brings it up for New York. Here's McBride. Matherin with a rebound. The Pacers have got three of six shots to go in this fourth quarter. And Jalen Brunson gets the whistle that time. Jalen Brunson. That's foul number two for him. Yeah, they've been pretty careless so far, racking up a number of fouls in very little time. And the Knicks making a change here. Hart's checked in. Heald's checked in for Indiana. On defense, the Knicks. It's a 14-point game. Tipped away. Halliburton, the pass to Toppin. Six to shoot. Healed with room to shoot. The Knicks pull it in. Here's Grimes. Ooh, coming through again. Shooting five for seven now. Defensively, they've got to get more bodies in the paint. He has three straight field goals from below the free throw line. Jackson, the screen. Here's Halliburton. Ooh, look at Halliburton using his length. How about that take from Halliburton? That's a big-time finish on the drive. Outside Hart. From the arc. Nails it from beyond the arc. Hart's got 29 points. Well, he showed right there. This guy capable of making shots, especially if you don't leave him that wide open. Here's Halliburton. Down low. Halliburton working through the D. Tyrese Halliburton, that thin frame didn't matter a lick. Brushes off the contact. Love the grittiness there. Here's Grimes. Laid it in with a nice touch off the window. Grimes has got four points this quarter. The Pacers have gotten five shots out of nine to go in this fourth. 
Halliburton against Brunson. Here's Matherin. It's rebounded by New York. Hart's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Here's Sims. Lays it in without an inch of room around him. And the Knicks lead by 19. Indiana's gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Jackson outside. Back to Halliburton. Shoots from the elbow. Hart pulls it in. Hart's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. And the Knicks call time here. Start it. in for Sims. OG Ananobi comes in for Achua. And it's DiVincenzo in for Grimes. The Pacers also with a sub. Walker's checked in. against Brunson into the lane and he gets the bucket Brunson's got 48 and now almost all their points coming from the paint pass to Jackson now here's Halliburton beyond the arc the Knicks pull it in Arch got double digit rebounds now in the game Brunson with it picked up by Matherin lets it go from the wing and yes another basket my goodness, 50 for the game. Just putting on a show. Jackson outside. Back to Halliburton to stop the run. Hart pulls it in. Hart's got rebound number 11. Over Walker. Hart can't hit. And here's Matherin. He'll bring it up for the Pacers. Pass break. Here we go. And that one drops for him. Well, buddy, healed opportunistic in transition. An opportunity to show you I've got some speed. Now a timeout called by New York. Started.
some changes here for the Pacers. Turner comes in for Jackson, and it's Pascal Siakam in for Walker. has gotten seven of 12 three-point attempts to fall. Pass to Hartenstein. Healed against DiVincenzo. Here's Turner, and is blocked. Brunson against Halliburton. Here's Hartenstein. Yes. And a nice assist from Brunson. Brunson's got assist number 10 tonight with that last one. Indiana's gone only one of four from the perimeter here in this fourth quarter. Pass to Turner. Got a piece of it. Here's the break. Here's DiVincenzo. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. Defensive foul. And until recently, it seemed like a foregone conclusion that the NBA's age limit would come back down to 18. Are you surprised that didn't happen, Grant? You know, B.A., I am surprised. We heard players saying it's not fair to make guys wait. You know, Commissioner Silver seemed receptive, so that was slightly unexpected that age 19 remains the rule. Well, the Pacers shooting just 38% here in the fourth. Heald passes to Halliburton. Back to Heal from behind the arc. The Knicks pull it in. Hartstein's got his 16th rebound on the night. And DiVincenzo with a basket on the assist from Ananobi. DiVincenzo's got 11 points here in the second half. Indiana shooting it at 52%. Pass to Neesmith. Up top, Turner. Finds it again. Miles Six for 12 and remaining assertive. Well, Miles Turner has earned the trust of his coaches. He's got the green light in these catch and shoot opportunities. Healed against Steven Chenzo. Siakam, the pass to Turner, puts it up from 15. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Siakam. Siakam's got six assists now in the game. Healed against DiVincenzo. Shot from the low post is good. DiVincenzo's got seven points for the quarter. And trying to put the game away, he's been nails all evening. And he hasn't forced much tonight. I love the efficiency he's giving to them. Healed from outside. And Ananobi pulls it down. New York has gotten seven of 12 three-point attempts to fall. The three, DiVincenzo. And the Knicks, another three. Yeah, a lot of coaches might let you hear it for taking the three-point on the break, but I like the decision there. The D had already collapsed inside. Pass to Turner. Now Halliburton. Brunson defending. Healed for three. Sends it home from three-point land. Challenging this D with the three ball. That's his second from distance this half. And he also hit one in the first half, too. Pulls up. High post. Brunson misses. And so it's Indiana with it. Back to Halliburton. And he dunks it. What a pass to set him up. Yeah, just one of those nights for Tyrese Halliburton. He's kept his foot on the accelerator, and he's putting it to the defense. Here's Brunson. And another one. That's 52 points for him, making it all look too easy right now. Halliburton surveys the floor. No good with the triple. He continues to let it fly, but the makes have been few and far between. Shoots. Pascal Siakam with a rebound. 
Siakam's got four rebounds in the game. Halliburton, the pass to Siakam. Turner inside. He's against Hartenstein. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Jalen Brunson picks one up. With so many recent number one picks and MVP winners being foreign-born players. Doris, the NBA truly feels like a global sport. It's wonderful, B.A., because when I think back historically, oh, wouldn't NBA fans have Russo. loved the opportunity to have seen Arvidas Sabonis in his prime? He spent decades toiling over in the European leagues and was a dominant figure in the sport. But the idea that you can now get Luka Doncic or Mr. Wemben Yama at such an early age and watch them unfold their NBA careers, it is fabulous. So New York ends up going with a whole new group. He's off on the second. Well, the athleticism that Miles Turner brings to the center spot is quite remarkable. This guy, an exceptional player on both sides of the floor. Here's Sims. It's wide right, hits off the rim. <laughs> let's be honest, that's not a shot he should be taking. Well, it's hard to imagine that the play was designed to go in that direction. Boy, I'd be surprised if we see that again. New York has gone two of two from outside so far in the fourth. 16 feet out. Pacers with a rebound. Halliburton's got a rebound number five here tonight. 146 left in the fourth quarter. Turner passes to Halliburton. Gets the three ball to go. Halliburton's got 30 points. A remarkable three-point shooter out of the gates in his NBA career. Tyrese Halliburton, let him hear you. Here's McBride. Gets rebounded by Indiana. Well, defenses are content to give up the mid-range, right? It's not the high percentage restricted area or the three. You can see they're prepared to give up that shot. And you can see how scary this team can be when everything is clicking for them. Just a terrific performance for the Knicks. And the disparity in the talent was obvious by the end. Sometimes you just don't have enough ammunition to compete. Yeah, B.A., just a total beatdown. And the next time these teams meet, <laughs> I can't imagine it'll be any different. And they're getting ready to notch their 33rd win of the year. And with this victory, they have an edge in the season series at two games to one, with one more game to follow against this team. And as it was happening, as it was building, you knew this was a monster game for Jalen Brunson. No doubt he came to play tonight. This guy has been aggressive and effective. Now a timeout called by New York. They're leading by 22. There's 49 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. Jalen Brunson, 
This has been one of the most dominant performances I've ever seen. What's incredible is he has no off switch, just a tremendous motor, and he's making an impact on every single possession. And look at him. He think it's just another game. He is totally in control of his emotions. Boy, you can see the amazing relationship he's built with the hometown fans, and it motivates him to always give them his very best. Here's Sims. Off the inbound, no good. And it's the Pacers with the ball. There's 38 seconds left in the fourth. McConnell finds Matherin. Back to McConnell. Shot clock at six. The kick out to Walker. Launches a three, knocks it down from distance. Walker. You can't sleep on this rookie from beyond the arc. Maybe not Walker's strength, but he will hurt you from deep. From 13. Sims can't get it to go. McConnell outside. New York foul. Malachi Flynn. First personal foul. Fifth team foul. T.J. McConnell at the line, two shots. Shooting two. And that one falls for McConnell. So he gets them both. Achua with it. Shoots over Walker. Achua gets the bucket. Outstanding pass on time and on target. Nick's lead. Now Matherin. And so New York takes this one by a big margin. Well, this might not have been the most competitive game we've ever seen, but you've got to appreciate their masterful performance. And I'm sure their fans appreciated it, too. We saw the outstanding defense and a loaded offensive effort. And they were just dominant out there. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Dante, you won state titles in high school, two national titles at Villanova, and now a growing role in the NBA. What has been the secret to your success? my ability to adapt um, different teams different dynamics of different teams and uh, just my ability to adapt to that team and fit sky's the limit guys thanks Allie great interview once again and that about wraps it up for Doris Burke Allie LaForce and Grant Hill and our entire crew this is Brian Anderson thanking you for tuning in as New Balance presents our player of the game Jalen Brunson